Hey everybody, I hope you're all having a good day. It's more Phoenix Wright. This is her trilogy, and we are coming ever so closer to the, to the close of this journey. We are we just at the trial as Miles Ashworth. We are even now remember today. We just finished the trial as Ashworth, and now we're back to Phoenix Wright, and we are on the last investigation of the entire game. So with that being said, let's get into it. So how'd you leave on the go? February 9th, 3.43 a.m. on the clinic intensive care unit. I'm still up at this R, reading through the trial record of a certain case. It's the first case my mentor, Mia Fey, had ever handled in the court of law. No, sorry, in a court of law. A horrifying truth that I refuse to accept is holding me hostage here within its pages. Nalia Hartform. What I have re read, I don't want to believe. What is written here? This isn't the Dahlia I knew. After falling into Eagle River, I somehow mir miraculously saved. I'm sorry, I was somehow miraculously saved. And I ended up catching a cold that seemed to knock me around the wall and back. I feel dizzy, my ears are ringing, my throat burns, my head is on fire. And I will recover. I have to recover by this afternoon. I have to meet the most ill-tempered witness imaginable. But I know that he will be able to help me with him. Somehow. You know, how the Andrew goes one last night, I'm curious. Ah, that is not. I'm almost prepared for things like this. Anyway, February 9th, dusky 2.43 p.m. Dusky Bridge. Waiting for my steam to close so my controller does not decide to connect. There we go. Right. Are you sure you're well enough to do this? To be doing this? We didn't? What happened last? What happened? You still look a little green in the face. Or maybe Viridian and artist speak. Hey, what happened last night? Why didn't Lucas happen? Actually, my fever's gone down quite a bit. How's your temperature now? No price support. Ah. Only 102.2 degrees. Nothing to worry about. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, that's unfortunate. Anyway, I read today's trial record. Oh, I had a, ma I had a mushroom match around today against uh, Vanquish Soul and one shot them. You, were, you weren't bad, Edgeworth. Pretty impressive despite the circumstances. I've got this as a, re as a replay and should be public now. We're not in the clear yet. The main point of contention tomorrow is going to be the murder weapon. Yeah. In the end, the Chashi Toto did not deliver the deadly blow. Which means there must be an another sword hiding out there that we don't know about. Another sword, huh? Okay. Don't you worry about a thing, pal. That's not gonna do then. I'll dig up the murder weapon myself. Or I'll eat my coat. Thank you, Nature. I'll handle things from here. Hmm. That is probably for the best. Actually, I was thinking about paying the opening a little visit. There's something I want to look into. And that is... Our clan's background. Not sure. You mean Iris, sir? I have a feeling that we've met before. All I want is confirmation. One way or the other. And since I probably won't be getting that from you... I'm sorry, Edgeworth. I bid you do, right? Take her. That's how you get moving, too! Why? Do you need to be somewhere? 
Yeah, I've got. Yeah, I gotta get to work on the on this bridge, pal. I'm rigging something up so we can get across to the other side. All right, that's right. Maya is still stuck over at the inner temple. But don't you worry, pal. As soon as it's all set, you'll be the first to know. Thank you, Gumshi. Oh, come. Oh, oh, oh. No problem, pal. Just try not to give me that call for yours, okay? All right, I'm off. Hang in there, Maya. We'll get you out. I promise. But in the meantime, I've got to continue collecting evidence. Let's go. All right, knife. Hustle her temple. Me and get. Come on, please. The smart thing. I swear. There's only one guy I know who can be this persistent and high strung. I'm talking about the hero in here. The hero in my bird. It'll make you famous. Ah, enough. A fool's fool, 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 who fools he accepts the foolishness of a fool's fool. That's it this time. I think you should go for a record. Wouldn't you agree, Phoenix Ray? Huh? Me? Wait a second. I know you. You're, um, ow. Your reflexes are mine. You need to shape up. A green spine like a sunny side up, and you want to grow you over in the aim? Fancy, you can't do that. Even as you speak, Nix is on Nix on the brink of death. Or to I'm told. Whip a dead horse! Isn't that one of your American sayings? No, it's not. I'm not on the brink of anything. Go on, Nick. Kill her, would you? Because she needs the mall for my new picture rig. Brownie's whippy whip tip. Whippy whip tip. Ah! Before you ask me the model, learn to give at least semi coherent testimony. And before that, you will have to learn how to live a semi coherent life, Larry. I don't care what anyone says. I'm telling you, I saw what I saw. Chief Larry, I tell you, whoosh! Just like that dude with the rare underwear. I wonder who he's referencing. Don't think I'm gonna forgive you guys when you come crawling back to apologize. <sighs> Off he goes. <laughs> it's amazing how little has changed with you in the past year. Finish right. Would be nice. Have you been to Germany all this time? That's right. Extending my perfect win record. Naturally. Oh, joy. Sounds like she hasn't changed a bit. Has it really been a year since we first met? I am Francisco von Karma, the prodigy. I see. I gave up a promising career in Germany and came to this courtroom for one sole reason. Revenge. Francisco was born and raised in Germany and became a prosecutor at the age of 14. Her father was a legendary prosecutor, my friend von Karma. He had a perfect win record for 40 long years, but now he is gone from this world. Don't tell me you're st you still hold a grudge against me because of what happened to your father. In the track, you will fall for me. This, I promise. But it will be for my sake, not my father's. Are we clear? I think she's a little bit peep pe that a bridge in a, a river as you beat her to it. Yes, Crystal. I'm not sure. In truth, I was shocked. I came back to your with the intention of defeating you. Instead, it was my little brother who was leading the defense. Edgeworth. Come to think of it. Edgeworth was pulled into being a prosecutor by my friend from Comrade as well. 
mount as told me something very interesting, you know. He said this kiss has a seven special significance to you. Because it does. And that's precisely why I am here. Your personal involvement will make crushing you into teen teen weenie pieces all the better. It's probably the fever, but He's so uh, openly hostile that it's almost kinda cute. Ow! No smirking! No whipping the sick! That foolish fool doing such a fool this favor for such a foolish, foolish fool. Edgeworth. Make no mistake, Finish right. I came here for one thing, I want to be over, only, to pulverize you. It's not like I thought you were here to bring me some cold color action, though. Know. Yeah. Oh, I know what you mean, hold a grudge. I went over the whole kiss file on the flight over. You read the whole thing? Yes, every last word, every last sentence on every last paragraph. All the ridiculous things you mean dead made a very made a very interesting read, you know. Let's go. Attempting to cross a burning bridge? Did you even consider the dangers? No. The only thing in my mind was I have to get across. Fool who doesn't think is more foolish than a fool who foolishly thinks. I wish you said he'd let me know once the bridge was repaired. Maya, she's got to be okay. I just know it. Plus, I need to ask her about what really happened at the inner temple that night. I'm about this. Ow! I refuse to help you, Finish right? I should have known better than to try. Okay, no, she is just now blowing the help at any point. February 9th, Hazakura Temple, Mian Hall. Um, that was, that was one long sigh. Oh. Um, so Sir Bikini? I'm alright. I didn't you were here. How are you doing? <laughs> Um, you don't have to pretend to be in a good mood for my sake. I suppose I made a terrible mess of things, haven't I? I like Mr. Galise die, and then there's Iris as well. Mr. Galise? I think about it. Hmm. There's an acolyte stuck at the inner temple, and that poor little girl has gone missing too. A little girl? You mean pearls? Do you? Yes, I'm afraid I do! She hasn't been seen since the morning after the incident. Pearls! She's missing? Why didn't anyone tell me about this? I must be getting old. I think I've seriously lost my faith in myself. But lost faith in myself, I. Are you talking about your performance at the trial today? You believe me, don't you? I'm not a liar. I would never lie. I knew I saw. I saw Iris pull a sir from Mr. Galise's body that night. I'm certain of it. I, was, I wasn't until this morning. I didn't see any side clocks. But she must be telling the truth. Um, so why are you so unsure of yourself all of a sudden, sorry? You know an artist who testified after me? I saw Iris flying, her white hood fluttering. I felt like I might start flying myself. When I saw that man testify so feverishly about something so impossible, I started to wonder if I had acted just like him when I was on the witness stand. I wouldn't take that guy too seriously. He's an artist. But he draws it in trouble. But, but, but all his draws is trouble. And nothing else. 
Both Bikini and Lion are telling the truth. That can only mean one thing. They both didn't see what they think they saw. On the night of the incident, you met Iris at the inner temple. Is that correct? That's right. I'm sure it was Iris. But Iris claimed she was in her room in the Hasakura Temple. I knew I shouldn't have come back here that night. And because you did, Maya stuck, stuck all by herself at the inner temple. I'm so, I am so sorry. The draft of this are nothing to shake a stick at. Winter is especially bad. How oh, bad? The train hall looks like it's about to fall at, during any second. Eagle Mountain has always been prone to earthquakes, just so you know. Uh oh. Earthquakes? Yes, I wouldn't be surprised if the next big one that was the training hall. We got to get my order. Fast. But still, the train don't need to worry. That area on the other side of Dusky Bridge is isolated like the, an island. It's like an island? I so. Well, the only thing on that side of the bridge is the inner temple. No one lives out there, and this is a right then on all sides by the river or the forest. I, I see. So a criminal would be trapped, perhaps should they choose to flee in that direction. As long as the bridge is out of commission, he or she will have to stay there. That means my IQ is stuck out there with the murder! Her. And with no way of escape either! Oh dear! Yes, I suppose it does! Yeah. Please, come shoot. Get that bridge up faster. I'm curious about a few things. If you don't mind asking some que answering some questions. Oh. Do you need to know my measurements for your investigation or something? No, no, no. I want to know a little more about the victim, Miss Lee Stillickson. I'm afraid I don't know her waist size. Or her bust size for that matter. No, no. I'm wondering why she came to stay in a place like this to begin with. I mean, she told us herself that she wasn't here for spiritual training. My, my, my! You make it sound like this place is some sort of dump, Mr. Wright. Mystic Galice was here to soak up the, 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 na the natural beauty of Eagle Mountain, if you must know. Ah, he did it again. It's a bikini. I know she always referred to Miss Dillickson as Mystic Elise. Oh? Yes. Now, why is that? After all, she's not here as an acolyte. We address all officers as Mystic. It makes it, their experience feel authentic. And anyway, she's older than me. You must respect your elders, you know. How do you know that? How can you say for sure that she's older than you? Oh. Number five. Hmm. It seems Mr. Lee Stillickson was no ordinary visitor after all. And there's pearls. She was with Miss Stillickson on the evening of the murder. And now she's vanished. It's all got to be connected somehow. Why did Pearl have to get mixed up in this mess? Please, Mr. Red, I know you're worried, but try to keep it together. Oh, man. My head's throbbing so bad, it's killing me. Pearls, she was a Miss Delicum on the night of the murder, remember? Yes, but I have a temple to run, you know? I was busy preparing for the training. I didn't see the little darling even once after we finished eating dinner. The murder. It didn't take place right in front of her ends and eyes. It... According to the detective, she hasn't turned up at her home either. Come on, keep calm. There's one place left where Pearls could be. She's just got... She, yeah, she just has to be there. Come on, Gumshoe. Tell me you'll be done with the repair soon. February 9th, has a her temple, courtyard. This is where Sister Bikini witnessed the incident. 
try to imagine she was lying on the stand. Sorry, lying on the stand, so... Maybe there's some clues that have yet to be found. She actually told her. It stirred in Miss Ikami's right hand. And it was proven in court today that it wasn't the murder weapon. Given the design, it must have been used for some pretty gruesome things in the past. That still looks some stuff. I definitely remember seeing there being a crystal spear attached to the stuff. I guess Larry eventually found the spear near the third dusky bridge, but... What was it doing all the way out there? Me and Gia on the other side of, the stone, of that stone wall. The difference in the elevation is almost 10 feet. That's how steep this hillside is. And that's also the height the body fell from, according to the autopsy. Is it possible that Miss Dillison was pushed from the top of the wall? I don't think there's anything we can do here, so let's head somewhere else. Hey! Oh, what was that jarring in considering you? Yeah. So this is where you've been. Keeping nice and warm, I see. Detective! Have you finished for the bridge? Yeah, I did. I told you I'd let you know. Well, well, well. Then I'll come along with you on. Sorry, ma'am. No unauthorized entry. Access is restricted to people involved in this case. What was that? I'm involved, aren't I? You couldn't get much more involved than me. Get more, much more involved than me. All right. Oh, yeah. But that's not what I. Ah! It's been a while, Scruffy. Uh, it's... It's... Carbon! Don't you know? Sister, please leave the investigation to me. My, my, my. Well, you certainly seem to have everything under control. I am on your side. I won't do anything you, you don't want me to. As you work to pin the guilt on Iris. What are you daydreaming about, Phoenix Wright? Ow. That hurts, you know. Silence! I, Francis Poncarma, will personally guide you through your investigation. So you will follow me. She's not seriously going to follow me around. Is she? Oh, we have to go to the bridge. He did it! What's she here? February 9th, Family Hall. Looks like no one's here. Larry! Lawrence! I'm not sure he'd be hiding here. Guess I'll try again later. February 9th, in Air Temple, great get. Things have certainly became a lot more hectic than before. They must have com commenced with the investigation. Oh? Mr. Nick? That voice! Pearls! Mr. Nick? Mr. Nick! So you were here ever since that night. I was so lonely, I thought I was going to die. When I woke up in the morning, I saw the dusky bridge was gone. I I realized I was all alone. Hey Top, how you doing? Hope you're having a good day. It's been a while, huh? Yeah, that's it. Hope you're having hope, hope it's well, yeah. She was all alone? It must have been very tiring for you, little girl. I haven't not that much, have you been? Your I am Francisca von Karma, the prodigy. There's no need to worry now that I'm here. You're the prosecutor who was so mean to Miss Ikmaya last year. Well I I don't like you. You're nothing but a little girl with your whip. Oh no oh. Okay. I'm looking forward to it. 
But I don't know whether it's spawn myself or not. That's the thing. When it comes out. Or on the road. After the video about that one. Yeah. Also, Pearls with a sick burn on Francesca. Mystic Maya didn't do anything wrong. You were so mean. I'll never forgive you. Right, I, I. It looks like Pearl's words are getting under her skin. Ouch! Why are you whipping me? I didn't. S yeah. Why are you whipping me? I didn't say anything. You didn't have to. The smirk on your lips gave you away. A anyway. Pearls? Weren't you with Maya? Ah! I'm sorry. It's... It's all my fault. Huh? What are you talking about? Pearls? I... I... Ah, <laughs> Mystic Maya! Hey! Wait! Pearls! She just ran off. Ow! That was cruel finish, right? To make a little girl cry like that is inexcusable. What was that all about? Pearls acted like that. Acting like that. Kiss me the creeps. Yes, I better take another look around since I finally got the chance. Especially since something about this place seems different from two days ago. Hey! I think I already see it. Hey, I didn't mean not. There's a weird smell coming from that incinerator. The door's also opened. Almost like it's begging me to look inside. Well, well, let's see what sudden clue is concealed in here, shall we? Huh? It's empty. I naive you finished, right? But it's a bit strange, don't you think? Francesca von Karma? I seem to remember... Yeah, there was snow there. There was snow on this incinerator the first time we s I saw it. In other words, someone's been using it to burn something recently. Listen, Phoenix Wright. It's imperative to call people by their full name. I was only copying you. Look at all the Buddhist statues lined up along this path. Phoenix Wright. Do you have... Do you think this has me this is how many siblings the head nun has? Why don't you ask her the next time you see her? You know what? I think I will. And she's pro and she'll probably slap you for prying into her private affairs. Alright, there's a little git that leads to the garden. To the garden. It says no entrance signs though. Yeah, also your Oh, nice! I should probably do more grinding on that, though. I'm a, I'm a silver one nigh, but... Oh, wow. I'll well, probably want to ask what kind of exodia, but... I don't know. Might be just... What kind of exodia? But then would be like... Ah! I'm not finished, right? What are you doing? Let's go in! It's half open anyway. What harm could come of it? But it says, new entry. Oh yeah, yeah, um, oh yeah, that's right, because I'm silver really? You're like silver two or like silver three. Wait, what rank are you, Eddie? Because don't you Americans enjoy doing whatever you like and then somebody say whatever? Or anyone else? Ah. Okay. You know, like bronze at the moment. Oh, okay. Got it. Okay. Mm. Well time of the Egyptian gods, all dark short happening right now if you want to try to get your hands on them. That's got nothing to do with anything. Who told you that? Where are we going? Training hall. February 9th, Inner Temple Training Hall. It gets locked. And there's gravy on the scroll. What's wrong? Why are you so quiet? Maya, she was supposed to be in here training. Yet it appears she is nowhere to be seen. What's that? That's strange luck. Mostly. And be found part of bugs. B troopers? Not B troopers. 
Nah, I'm almost like insect deck your finger up of you won Ron. Oh, be true. Okay. Yeah. I was like, I'm trying to remember. Okay. Cool. Wasn't there two days ago? This whole room is really giving off some strange vibes. It's a ah. Hmm. Store. When I, when I was here two days ago, that weird lock wasn't on it. Those chains. It's almost as if they're guarding something inside that cavern. I've never seen a lock quite like this before. I have... I've seen locks and chains like this before. They look just like the ones that guard a person's secrets during a psych lock. I wonder if this lock is guarding something too. Dark secrets in a dark cavern. What do you think of this yellowish post? There is finish right? It's a scroll, not a poster. It's a picture of a woman who's actually... A woman? I don't see any woman here. There's a different atmosphere in this room since the last time I was here. No, it's not a different atmosphere. It's a different smell. It's gravy! What's the matter? This scroll. It's been completely covered in gravy. Ah, yes. That is a very appetizing smell in the air. The gravy is a type of sauce. So sorry, but gravy is a type of sauce. But when you run out of paint, you Americans use gravy as a substitute. I see. No, no one does that. For stars, it stinks. This must be the gravy that we have with a roast on the night of the incident. But why would anyone do this? Why this scroll? Any scroll has been updated. The face image is obscured by gravy. What took you so long? I thought even you managed to get here faster than this. Mr. Trite. Prosecutor Godot! I didn't know you were here. Prosecutor? How come you didn't show up at the trial today? Ha! <laughs> I could ask you the exact same question. Huh? Ah, no worries, uh, no worry, stop. Uh, put your son in school. Huh? Well, I was... I had a cold, so... Alright, see ya, I had something slightly more important than a common cold to deal with. The importance of which is something you have no hope of ever understanding. <laughs> so, Mark, this is the finale of Chelsea. Everything's coming together. Enough! I believe I have the... The measure... So I believe I have the measurement of you. You are the very worst kind of prosecutor. What can be more important than a trial? Who's the wild mayor, right? This is Miss Monkarma. She was the acting prosecutor in your absence today. Ha! <laughs> well, I guess I owe you one thing. One, then. You can go now, princess. It's time for the big boys to take the reins. Just who do you think you are? This kiss is mine! Hey, Phil, Philly. Know your role and shut your mouth. I can't stand a woman like you. Just... You did not fear that. I'm only going to say this once, Lady from Whippingberg. Go ho! Phoenix right! What are you hitting me for? Ha! <laughs> you deserve more cracks of, a, of the whip than that, trite. Yeah. What? You still don't get it, do you? You don't realize that you, you've you set something in motion that you'll never be able to undo. Something different about God today. I'm getting such a strong sense of... Something from behind that mask of his. Is it anger? Or... Is it... Sorrow? You have some important business and that's why you weren't in court? 
Huh? So what was it? I've told you once before, but perhaps you don't remember. I've returned from the depths of hell. To battle with you. See, right. I've experienced something most have not. Death. You died? Of course. Being extradited from hell is a tedious affair. The meticulous regeneration and adjustment of all your internal organs is... Well, let's just say modern medicine allows us all to live to the ripe old age. To ripe old age. Even someone like me. Though, you mean, that much you were is... This ugly device? I promise it's not a fashion statement. My unenlightened friend. Without this, I can't see your frequently dumbfounded face. I... I didn't know. My eyesight is pretty messed up. Even with these huge goggles on my head, I still can't see everything. Still, I keep this worn out piece of junk of bo- we going with regular servings. I'm sorry, but... You said you've experienced death. Why is that possible? What happened? Why don't you ask him? Huh? Me? Yeah, that's right. You. You should know all about it. You know when my life ended. And who ended it for me. Well, finish right? Do you? I, I don't know what he's talking about. Although, to be honest, I do feel a little tug at the corner of my memory. I think I do know about how I got up was killed. It will all become clear in due time. It's not right, it's right. Earlier, you said I've done something that I, I can never undo. What do you mean by that, exactly? The inner temple here on the side of Dusky Bridge is an isolated island. That's what Sister Bikini said, too. And I wonder, Trite, do you know what the police are doing here today? What do you mean? They're searching. Searching for any trace of an acolyte who went missing. Missing? As leader of the search party, I can tell you this with absolute certainty. My F.A. is not on this side of the dusky bridge. Huh? But, but that's impossible! She came here last night on... I won't say it again. The chance of her being here or nil. Excluding, of course, one very unique place. One? Where's that? The sacred cavern, the entrance of which we are standing at right now. This is the only place that the search party has yet to explore. So they haven't searched the cavern, that cavern yet, huh? Be aware, though, that the temperature inside frequently falls below freezing. Even if she were in there, the chance of her being found alive are slim at best. No! Oh! Which means, right, that you sent Maya Fey to her death. You fool! If that's the situation, why aren't you in, in there with the search party rank 9? Oh, search party rank 9. You must, be, you must have blinders on, my equestrian angel. Don't you see the big lock and chains? It's a trick lock. I'm making preparations to open it as we speak. Well, trite. Once again, a woman dies because of you. Once again? What are you talking about? Don't tell me. You've forgotten. It was only two years ago, after all. When the last unfortunate woman died because of you. Because of me? And do you know who that was? It was Maya Fey's sister. That's right. Mia Fey. Mia? 
You killed her. No! That's not how I was! It was two years ago. Yefei was pursuing someone. A man. She bit off more than she can chew. She made a very dangerous enemy. Yeah, that's one kiss I'll never forget. But I got that guy. Personally. Sure. Miss Faye's murderer was caught. That won't bring her back. Well, no, but... You were with her at the time. You and no one else. It's your responsibility. You should have protected her. I... You saved my... You saved... You saved my faith was your teacher? Well then. I say you've learned nothing, Trite. You robbed her of her life. And now... You let her sister suffer the same fate. I... I haven't sent Smile to death. No! What is this particular looking lock? Why don't we just break it open? If it be a simple matter of... I'm afraid we can't do that. This area has always been prone to earthquakes. The repeated tremors have weakened the foundation of the train hall. Any excess of force you need to break the locks open would... Well, let's just say the end temple and the sacred cavern will be a thing of the past. Very well! Then dare I suggest the obvious solution of putting it with a key? Ha. <laughs> sure. Just show me where the keyhole is on this trick lock. There's no keyhole! That's right. An interesting puzzle, huh? The person who sets the lock is the only one who can open it. Then who was it? Simple. The accused. What? Iris? When an acolyte undergoes training inside the sacred cavern, the attending sister is responsible for locking the entrance. Obviously, the night of the murder was no exception. IFA was the training there. So we can did mention it a number of times, now that I think of it. But it's, uh, she said that Iris was left in charge of supervising the early stages of the train. So Iris, the accused, is the only one who can open this lock. I've arranged for her to be brought here now. Iris is the only person who can open this lock? I hope she gets here soon. Hang in there, hang on there, Maya. We'll pull you out, we'll get you out. So... I should be getting back to work. Wait, go on! I sure up at my are ye. There's no doubt on my mind. She's in the sacred cavern somewhere. It's the only place she could be. You better start praying. You better pray that friend of yours being the accused brings back... You... Ah, let me try that again. You better pray that friend of yours brings the accused back here soon. It's worth. Listen up, trite. There's only one thing I want to say to you before I go. I'll never accept you. Never. You should choose your friends more carefully, Phoenix Wright. That's what everyone says. It looks like I don't have much of a choice. I guess I'll just have to do what I can for now. So I've got to say this for certain reasons. I don't know. Should I? Or shouldn't I? It sounds like someone's talking to himself. But where's that coming from? Yeah, I guess I better wash that off. That's what I'll do. No, but I can't do that. I'm a detective. Ah, my brain. This is driving me nuts. Ah! Is something troubling you, Scruffy? Please don't whip me like that all of a sudden, sir. It's merely a simple greeting. A friendly tap on the soldier. With my whip. So what's up, Gumshi? Is something on your mind? How did you know, pal? Perhaps you were trying to decide if you want to wash that off or not. How did you know, sir? Oh, yeah. I nearly forgot. You can't go through that 
we'll get there, okay? Um, you mean the one that says no entry on it? I, um, kind of already snuck in there. Is he trying to be clever or something? So what's behind there, Scruffy? Huh? A kind of garden-like garden. Garden? Yeah, anyway, it's under investigation right now, so keep it! I'm not telling you, I'm asking you, pal. You got me? Isn't that normally the other way around? Well, see you later! So, shall we adjourn to this garden finish right? Of course. What else would we do? I really want to know what Gumshoe was thinking of washing off. We can go to the garden! Well, this is a thing. February 9th, Inner gar Temple Garden. There's a strange feeling in the air. I wonder what it is. Strange feeling? Get up, it done. What's that strange writing on the stone lantern? Ah! Uh, what are you doing here, sir? I thought I said you can't come in here. Don't you know, Scruffy? A phone camera will always show up whenever there's a, there's a clue. And there is, are plenty of clues to be found here. But... So how's the Inner Temple investigation going? We have the best forensic team in the world working the, the place. The place. Sorry. Forensic team? Uh, what was the outcome with the scientific study? Nothing. Scientifically speaking, the place is as clean as a whistle. That simply is not good enough, Scruffy. Do you think I let you get away with that? Uh-oh. Well, there were a couple of things that bothered me when I first got here, sir. A stone lan- the st a stone lantern? And the surrounding area is not covered in snow, correct? They look kind of fishy to me, you know? Scientifically speaking. So I got the lab boys to look them over. The results were... It's kind of hard to say, actually. I guess I better look into them myself. Um... I bet Maya... Oh, um... Did Mr. Garlot tell you yet? Oh, yeah, you're just saying... Yeah. I mean, what? The person who had a nib on an evening lunch and both cars were dead? But also the fact that I, I was planning that I planned to use Guardian Slime stuff. I I'm starting to learn more effectively how to use when to use Guardian Slime more. Yeah. That is true. Yeah. Yes, we heard. He's got the a search party I'd looking for. But there's nowhere else she could have disappeared to on this side of Dusky Bridge. All we can do is wait for Mr. Edgeworth to get here, pal. Edgeworth. Let's be also be honest, like I took out I cleared I had, I broke his board twice. Also, part of it was swinging than just to use Raz effect just to go to the 100 life points for funds. He's just going to Iris, the defendant, over here. We'll have to wait wait. Since she's the only one who can open the door to the sacred cavern. Oh, I think Mr. Edgeworth wants to talk to you about something else. Something too, pal. Huh? I wonder what that, what it is. Just don't be expecting any good news when you talk to him. When I spoke to him, Mr. Edgeworth sounded so down, I felt like I was drowning. Sounds pleasant. A little lantern. A little statue. It's... it is certainly a quaint little garden. Oh! What's this huge bowl here for? Oh, I know this one. It's... um... It's a water bowl, isn't it? Everything else is completely frozen over. But the ice in this bowl hasn't broken. That's true. I wonder if this has any impact on the kiss. Um, well... I, um... I dosed my base order with, with the water in this. 
I was getting kind of sleepy. Arr! Next time you're sleepy, you need only come to me. Got it? Which thing I wanted to look? That's a charm or something poking out of the snow. It looks pretty old. There's a lot of core tattoo too. Apparently, it belongs to the victim. To Miss Elise, it looks him? Yeah. There was a broken ladder cord around the lady's neck. And it, the ends of the cord found in both the victim and this charm is matched exactly. Turns to me like this little champion is going to be my ticket to getting some very big answers. The Ride Master Talisman, worn by Lee Steelixon, found in the Garden of the Inner Temple. What the heck is this? Uh oh. You spotted it, huh, pal? Are you kidding me? It couldn't have been more obvious! It says... Maya. Yeah, but before you ask, it's written in blood. You will answer all our questions nice for faith without exceptions! Yes, sir. Maya. So these letters are written in blood. Yeah, but what's worse is it's the it is sorry it is it's the victim's blood. Huh? That's Miss that is Miss Lilism's blood. We haven't done a detailed analysis yet, but it's looking that way, pal. Hmm, most interesting. Ganesh right. I presume you know, don't you? Why Maya's name is written upside down? You know what? That was really bothering me too! But I just came up with the answer! The results of my own special Gumji investigation! Really? Who tell? Well, on the night of the murder... The stone lantern was upside down! Ahem... <clears throat> anyway... There's really only one logical explanation to this mystery! Miss Elise Dillickson wrote these letters herself, in her own blood. Yeah, you must be joking! That's impossible! From the writing in the victim's blood and the other clues left behind, it seems pretty likely that this garden was the scene of Miss Ex Elise Dillickson's murder. At least, that's our current theory on how the offense took place, pal. What?! So Miss Dillickson was killed here? I ever want to look at it. That's what people are are saying now. And what's the bikini said in the courtyard at the main temple was? Well, what it was it? If that wasn't the scene of the crime, what did she see? What do you think, Miss Fagarma? Surely a special gum machine investigation revealed the answer. No. Wait, but wait a sec. The play right in all the other clues here. Someone could have easily set it all that up after the murder, right? Sorry, but that's not the option. An option, pal. Why not? I quickly you forget, Phoenix, right? Ever since the incident occurred, this place has been completely inaccessible. Because Dusty Bridge was completely burned out. I was overseeing repairs to the bridge the whole time. No one came over here before me and my men. Which means no one could have planted all the stuff here, pal. I can't think of a counter argument to that. I knew it. I should have washed the blood of the lantern as soon as I got here. This really was the scene of the crime. And I need to figure out exactly what it was that, that became me. Ashley saw. Well, this is odd. There's no snow on the ground here, and it's almost per yeah, and it's an almost perfect rectangle. It could have happened naturally. Yes, it appears as though someone had carefully cleared away the snow. No doubt it was you, wasn't it, Scruffy? Huh? No, it wasn't me, sir. It was already like that when my man and I got here to start the investigation. If it wasn't the police, and who did it? Oh yeah, there's something I need to tell you. 
just between the three of us, okay? What is it? It's top secret. You can't tell anyone. Got it? You better not say about him being a wizard. Understood. Well, when I was a kid, I got knocked out by the local wrestling contest, you see. I was so disappointed, I just picked up my mouth guard and cried all the way home. And I got in so much trouble when I left that on the couch. Is that it? That's it! Arr! Whoever created the snowway must have had a reason. No, I can't even begin to imagine what that reason could be. I think there's not much we can do here. Got a little bit of extra clues, so I think we're pulling back some frame to move the grinds. Okay, yep. Oh, February 9th has the current temple mean get. It seems you have a visitor. Mr. Wright! Iris! I'm really glad to see you. Got up minds to mobilize the police by claiming I mean a stick of a, a state of emergency. Not him again. Never mind him! You gotta hurry and unlock the sacred cavern. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. It's my fault someone so important you is locked in there. Mr. Edgeworth? Can we finish our conversation later? Alright. Let's hurry to the inner temple then. I'll see you later, right? Wait, Edgeworth! I'm coming with you guys! Sorry, right? I kind of love you to come with us. What? I hate to be the one to break it to you, but... My F.A. is in a rather delicate precision. What do you mean by delicate a delicate position? This isn't simply a rescue operation, right? It's also an investigation. That being the case, we can't allow members of the public to interfere. Come on, it's worth. If anything happens, you'll be the first to know. Please understand, right? Right, Edger, Mr. Wright! All that matters is that Mystic Maya is rescued, correct? I... Listen to the voice of reason for a change, Phoenix Wright. From now on, consider anything beyond Dusky Bridge to be off limits. We'll be going now. Excuse us. Ugh! This is no time to be standing around, Phoenix Wright. Aren't there other things that demand your attention? She's right. Thanks for reminding me. February 9th, Hazakura Temple, Min Hall. Sister Bikini looks like she shrunk some since last I saw her. Don't be so rude, Phoenix Wright. What's wrong, Sister Bikini? I'm my hello, you two. How are you doing? <laughs> No sign to that sigh. I guess she's still pretty dying. Iris was just here, you know. She was accompanied by that handsome crimson clad prince. Is she talking about Edgeworth? It was just a courtesy call. I wasn't allowed to talk with her at all. Oh dear. So I thought that this has happened. Poor Iris. She was worried by my back. Could would you believe? What have I done to her? Only what you had to do, sister. Your bravery and truthfully be testifying about what you saw. There's no shame in that. And we'll see to it that your testimony wasn't made in vain. Well, I don't hear anyone else saying none. Mr. Blue Suit doesn't seem to share your opinion, I see. Huh? Me? Ah! Where? Oh, oh, yes! You did great, Sister Bikini. Absolutely spect spectacular! You two are the only ones who said that to me. 
I can't shake the feeling that I just became a shell to the to a shrew. Do you have a problem, Phoenix Wright? Sure, she was brave to testify so truthfully like that. I know she's still hiding something. Guess it's time to break these those cyclops of hers. I know it's a bit early, but. Let's do it. Let's see if we can break these five. This is, this is a bikini. Truth is becoming incredibly clear, increasingly clear to me. I'm convinced that Miss Lisa looks and had a special significance to this temple. As to why she had a special significance, I believe it has to do with her true identity. What on earth are you talking about? She, she was. Mystic Lace was an offer, just an offer, of picture books. To be honest, I had my suspicions almost immediately after I met her. Suspicions? Yes, I didn't have any evidence to support my theory, though. And I do. This piece of evidence proves myself in its true identity. Take that! Mr. had this charm of her at all times. Ah, what did she... It isn't- this isn't some cheap good luck charm, either. But then... What do you think of this, Mr. Wright? What could a talisman like that possibly mean? It's a talisman, is it? Interesting. Oops. This thing speaks volumes about Mr. Ellison, who Mr. Ellison really was. This talisman and one item on the prove Mr. Ellison's true identity. The painting is obscured by this gravy scene at the moment. The painting is that this the painting is obscured by this gravy scene at the moment. But this scroll shows the master of the Korang challenge technique. A crest at the top. It's a sign of that honorable title. The fire scene crest that adorns the talisman with the, the victim carried with her. Ah! The crest is reserved for the Master of Karang. Who on earth told you that nonsense? I've got no idea what you're talking about. The new Master, Maya Fei, told me. What? What? You mean that Acolyte is Misty Fei's daughter? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. In fact, since her eldest daughter passed away, Maya is Misty Fae's sole successor. Mystic Misty! I mean, yeah, that was kind of the brutal part of that, but... Mystic at least grist us with her presence about a week ago. When she showed me the talisman with the mark, that mark on it, well, I nearly fainted. No one had seen her since her disappearance 17... Yeah, 17 years ago after all. What is the significance of this talisman, sister? The Karine talisman? It's the symbol of the Master of Karine. The bearer must carry it with them until their death. Until their death? So at least still was really Maya's mother, huh? She was Misty Fay, the master of the Korean channeling technique. The truth comes out at last. Looks like we're making some headway here. Tell me, sister. After 17 years, why did she choose to show herself nine? Because something happened to call her out of hiding. But what happened? Well. What's happening? It, it can't be. Earthquake! Arm! Ah! Oh my goodness! The inner temple! This kind of charm of my... The inner temple? The sacred cabinet is in the, the, is in the temple hall. It might fire you all. Give him. What? Oh, 
Feuer! It seems to have passed. Well, we can't just stand here do, do nothing. Let's go! What? Where? At the inner temple, of course. Where else? Sister Bikini, we'll finish this later, alright? Of course. You roll along now. You may have been hurt. I must get some first aid kits ready. Come on then, Phoenix, right? They won't bar you from entering as long as I'm with you. Thank you. Right at that moment, I had the worst feeling in my gut. I just had an earthquake. I wonder if he's alright. You looked worried. Are you thinking about Miles Edgeworth? Come on, let's go. We've got to hurry to the Inner Temple on... Right. Ah! What are you doing here? How could I have... How do you expect us to understand if you don't speak up? Ouch! Hey! Why am I the one getting whipped? She's gone. No! The Bennett, Iris, she's gone. Gone where? She fled. She escaped. What? So, it was just nigh, during the... It's easy to see Ashworth's one and only weakness. His fear of earthquakes. I should have known better than the escort the defendant alone. As soon as the ground starts shaking, Everything went dark before my eyes, and I stupidly passed out. That incident haunts you to this day, doesn't it? That's no excuse for letting the suspect get away. I can't believe I let it happen. Right, the inner temple is a dead end, so she only so she could have escaped only escaped to the side. We haven't seen her, and we need to get a manhunt on. The way nigh, and such Eagle Mountain from top to bottom. Wait, Ashworth, have you thoroughly checked the Inner Temple yet? Don't be ridiculous. Why would I? The Inner Temple is like an island. There's no way to skip but to cross. No, that's not it. Iris isn't the type of person to run away, Ashworth. What are you talking about? Sister Bikini mentioned something when we were with her. She said that the Sacred Cabin might have kept in because of the earthquake. Then you think Iris might have gone to the Inner Temple to check on the situation? Listen, Edgeworth. I'm sure she's at the Inner Temple. A manhunt is not necessary. Right. Let's not waste any more time. We need to get to the training hall on Sacred Cavern 9. Alright, let's go. Library 9th, Inner Temple, Training Hall. Fortunately, the Sacred Cavern hasn't, hasn't gave in. But, what we found, something none of us could have es ever expected. Five locks of those trick locks. How can there be even more locks? What is the meaning of this? Iris! Iris, please tell me. What the hell is going on?
knife. The last bit of the investigations. There's one. February 9th. Inner temple training ground. Training hall, sorry. Right? Is this what God was talking about? Yeah. The trick locks. Now then, Iris. Please remove these at once. Um, Mr. Edgeworth? I'm afraid I can't. It... It's not possible for me. What? During the earthquake, when the cavern was in danger of giving in, Iris escaped. I knew that... There was only one lock when I last came here. So you're saying that you can't undo the new locks? Yes. Only I was stronger. Edgeworth, how are you feeling? You look a little pale in the face. Like you're one to talk. Your face all green. Mouse Edgeworth, go and get some air. I'll watch over the suspect. You go and get a grip on yourself. Don't be ridiculous. I'm perfect. Hi. There's no telling what sort of mistakes you could make in your current stick. Go and get some rest. That's your only concern now, Miles Edgeworth. See, she cares. Understood. It's got a long way to do it, but she cares. I'll handle the investigation in the garden. You take her things here. Edgeworth. He's got some pride that he's probably off crying in the corner of the garden. In the corner of the garden. Pride is simply another trap that hinders us in our lives. That said, one must have pride to be effective on the job. At any rate, it seems that this is where we part ways. Phoenix, right? I'm going to stay here and see if I can help solve these butters and puzzles. I see. Well, thanks for your help. Night in. Do you mind if I ask you a few things, Iris? No, not at all. Why did you make a run for it, Iris? I... I'm sorry. Okay. Oh! Interesting. Well, let me know that book more. I hear the inner... I heard the inner temple had been severely shaken by the strong earthquakes we had. Earthquake, yeah. Interesting. Hmm. Need to get back into the floor of that again. I... I was so worried. I just had to come and see. In other words, you didn't run away to escape the law. At least we're clear on that. I can't tell you how relieved I was when I saw the sacred cavern was alright, but... But what? That's when I saw these chains here. I saw all these extra locks that someone had put on the sacred cavern door, cavern's door on... Hmm. Who in the world would do something like this? These trick locks are a sacred treasure of the Korean tradition. There are hundreds of ways to set them. That's why only the person who set the lock can open it. And you aren't the one who set these locks? I don't think that's is that simple, Francisco from Karma. <laughs> Okay, that's cool. It'll be interesting enough to see how premium works for us. When we were the first ones here, there were only one there was only one lock. If next time I can get the skills, I'll actually probably know to ahead of time maybe, and then we'll we can probably have a few found our matches, get back into those little things. Night, some high. There are five of them. There's five of them. What does this what does that mean? It means that someone wants to secure this, the place even more. And they wanted to secure it before you got here, Iris. Presumably because they wanted to make sure Maya couldn't get out. This means that Iris can only open one of these locks. The first one. Yes, that's correct. What? Iris, try to think, please. Isn't there any way around this? 
Well, like I said, there are hundreds of different ways to set these locks. I suppose if I went for every combination with each one, I could remove them. But... It will take time, won't it? Yes, about a day, if I had to guess. A whole day? I can tell you something. Oh, wow. Well, it's better than leaving the locks in place. Will you do this for us? Sure. I'll do whatever I can. You've got to wait another day? Hang in there, Maya. You're gonna have to call in your inner strength now. You know what, Iris? There's still one thing I don't quite get. And what might that be, Phoenix Wright? I think it's obvious. Oh, wait, 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 right, I forgot that. I was like, B format armor brick, I'm guessing. Iris, on the night of the murder, where were you? Oh, okay. <laughs> Please, Iris, don't give me that look. You told me, you told us that you were in your room at Hazakura Temple at the time of the incident. And you were seen the same evening at the inner temple. And then, you were spotted at the scene of the crime in Hazakura Temple too. Being spotted at both Hasakura Temple and the Inner Temple? It's as if you were... Well, Iris, I think it's about time you told us the truth. Oh, wow. I knew it. There's something going on that we don't know about. Well, I guess we'll move. Huh. Every knife inner temple guard get I'm finally getting to the bottom of this kiss. I can count on Iris to break these lock those locks, so I should try to gather more clues. From Sister Bikini, Ashworth, Gumshoe, and Pearls. Every knife inner temple garden. Oh wow. Cops are still co combing the place. They look pretty nervous. I'd be nervous too. It's gotta be a tough job. Especially with someone giving you the evil eye the whole time. I could have done not. Wow. I can't believe it's still bothering him. Edgeworth. Art. Hey! Don't you dare run away! What do you want, right? What do I want? You came here to laugh at me, then get on with it. Go on, laugh away. I feel like we've been here before. Have we been here before? <sighs> I was trying to hug it out with him, but he's just the same prideful Edgeworth. Yeah, we've never been here before. Two years, I think, for us on the streaming run. I would give or take about three months. You were, so you went back to the criminal affairs department, right? You said you wanted to look into something concerning Iris. Yes. And thanks to what I found, I was reminded of something terrible. You guys are putting a lot of effort into the investigation of the garden here, huh? There's a high chance this is the actual scene of the crime. That's why. You mean because of the writing in blood on the talisman found in snow? Exactly. As you know, those things couldn't have been planted here before the murder. Sorry, after the murder. But surely, you don't suspect... Maya, do you? We have to treat everyone as a suspect. Maya, as well as Iris. It's our job, right? So, I guess you're, you still haven't gotten over your fear of earthquakes. No. Though, thankfully, my nightmares have stopped. But still, the groan gives even the slightest tremor. I find myself short of breath. 17 years ago, 
And you were the little school kids at the same elementary school. Ashworth found himself in the middle of a, of a murder. It all started with that big quick that hit the courthouse. Yes, I was stuck in the elevator with my father, who was a defense attorney. We were deprived of oxygen and we passed out. That's when it happened. That single gunshot shattered my whole life. I lost everything that day, all because of that earthquake. My dreams, my family, and myself. It's been more than 17 years now. And that case was finally resolved two years ago, right? You don't you think I don't know that? I was there, but it was such a shock. I never imagined I could be so wrong about myself and my life. I'm sorry, right? There's nothing else I could say. That not after you chose to become a lawyer for my sake. Ah, uh, not after you saved me. Ashworth, you're stronger than you think. So no more of the self-pity, okay? There was something that bothered me about her from the moment we met. I felt like I'd seen her somewhere before. No, wit. Not somewhere. I felt like I'd seen her in court before. We? She went back to the criminal's first apartment to look for her file. Yes. I checked over every case file I've ever worked on. And I was right. I've seen her face before. Six years ago. Six years ago? It was my first appearance in court. And as cases goes, it was my worst nightmare. So, who is she? I'm sorry, right? I can't give that information away to a member of the general public. What? Why not? It might be the crucial piece of the of the puzzle that solves this case. The woman I knew was the daughter of a jewelry store owner. She had nothing to do with Iris and the Hazakura Temple. And neither did the case. No. That woman is completely unrelated to this murder. Unrelated? Yes, I can say that with complete confidence. You're wrong, Edgeworth. She's totally related to this case. I need to find Phil Edgeworth in. I need to explain the connection between Iris and the woman Edgeworth knew. How do we do? Did you forget this, Edgeworth? Sorry, right? You're a defense and I'll be prosecutor. It wouldn't be right for us to discuss things so intimately. You were acting for the defense in the top of I don't think we have a deny. No friends. Okay. Then I didn't know as he's had changed. We don't have anything yet. Let's see if we can find Gumshoe. February 9th, Dusky Bridge. It's weird that there's no one around all of a sudden. It sure gets quiet up here in the mountains when you're all on your own. Speaking of alone, I guess I should go check out the shack just in this path. Maybe I'll find Larry there stalking again. February 9th, Heavenly Hall. Oh, Mr. Nick! Girls! What are you doing here? Nothing. What about Miss Maya? Is she alright? Um, well, we don't know yet. Oh, I see. Hey, what do you think you're doing in here, Nick? Larry! This is the- This is the loser shack! Where losers get together and lose themselves! This is the- 
What? Hey, we find comfort in each other's failures, okay? You got a problem with that? Look, Mr. Nick. Miss O'Lawrence did a picture of me. That's, um, great, Pearls. We're going to get our fire right now. We'll be cooking some hot, half rotten potatoes or a miserable little campfire. Stand out of our way! I don't believe this. Why can't he get. Or why can't he try getting fired up over becoming a better man? Who won't believe the word I say anymore? Listen to me, Pearl! You don't want to trust this kind of guy, okay? He'll only let you down. Oh, Mystic Maya. Larry, is there something you want to tell me about this picture? Ha! Huh, I've got nothing to say to you, Nick. My life in my life's here now. Oh, Pearl, two losers cooking hot potatoes together forevermore. What am I going to do with him? All right then. What do you think of this picture, Pearls? I, I think it's really well drawn. I can't draw at all, so I think it's really amazing. See, someone appreciates it. It's tough getting the flames look like that, you know. It's supposed to be Sister Iris flying through the air, isn't it? I love it. It's like a dream. A wonderful fantasy. No, no, no. It wasn't a dream. She ready to flee! I'm telling you, Iris ready to flee that night. And Mr. Lawrence. Not <sighs> you too, Pearl. Please don't look at me like that. Pearl! Don't look at me like I'm some sort of new nutcase. I beg of you. I guess this picture really is a representation of what Larry thinks he saw. Okay, so I was half asleep. But I was here that night. But when I but I was one week after the lightning struck. And I saw what I but I I'm sorry, I saw myself. It was exactly like I drew in that picture. It looks like I don't have any choice but to take the sketch at face value. Hey, what's with the look of dirt on your, on your face? Um, pearls? Yes, Mr. Nick? I've been meaning to ask you about the night of the murder. Where were you? And um, what exactly were you doing when it all happened? I, um, I... I was just, well, I'm just a kid, you know? I'm sure it doesn't really m matter what I was doing, does it? Mr. Nick. Sorry, Pearls, but yes, it does. On the night of the murder, you were supposed to be in Mr. Luxem's room, reading the book together. But, Mr. Luxem was murdered, and you, Pearls, were at the inner temple. Eh, just what exactly happened that night? Pearls. I'm really sorry, Mr. Nick. Five Cyclox Hunter here. I, I've been a bad girl. That's why I'm being punished. What are you talking about, Pearls? My spiritual power has disappeared. What? Your powers have disappeared? What do you mean by your powers have disappeared, Pearls? It's it's all over for me. A spirit man who can't challenge spirits is like a painter who can't paint. Hey! What are you looking me up me for? Pearls. Did you try to challenge someone's spirit right here at Hazakura Temple? Tried, but failed, perhaps? Uh. uh, uh. Where'd it go, Nick? You made her cry! That's. That was really cruel of you! Uh. Just as I thought, I'm going to have to break her stack glass to get the truth out of her. I don't think we do anything yet, so how about we just go... See if we can find Gumshoe or something. February 9th, Hatsukura Temple, Main Gate. I wonder if Sister Bikini is back at the main temple, main hall yet. I haven't seen Gumshoe around for a while either. Maybe they're having a cup of tea together somewhere. How about Gumshoe is Sister Bikini's type? February 9th, House of Curse Temple, Temple 
Minhal. Well, what's the damage? How is the sick recovering? It looks like it survived. But we have a bigger problem now. I toasted the bikini all about it. About the five locks that were stopping us from getting inside the sacred cavern. But who... Who could have done that? The only people who knew how to set those locks are those of the Quran tradition. We have Iris at the sacred cavern, trying our best to open them for us right now. Actually, there's something I've been to talk to you about. Sister Bikini. Oh yes, we were in the middle of a chat, weren't we? Yes, you were telling me how the Master crying disappeared 17 years ago. I want to know why Misty Face suddenly appeared at this temple. It was about a week ago when Misty Elise, no, I mean Misty, Misty arrived. After she showed me this talisman to prove she was a Master, she said, Someone is trying to destroy the crying tradition in me and family line. I am here to put a stop to them. Someone was trying to destroy the me and family line? There was only one heir to the title of master at any time, and it's usually the eldest. That child becomes the new master of the crying, and her daughter, the man family. All the other means become branch family members, with no hope of controlling the clan. That's why nothing has, ch has changed for the history of the clan. Branch families always have and always will plot into erase those of the main family line. I wonder where we've run into that before. Is the power of the master worth this much bloodshed? You believe the in the technique, don't you, Mr. Wright? You know its powers is real. Yes, I do. It's been, it's been two years since I first met Maya. In that time, I've seen her channel the spirit of the, of the dead plenty of times. During the Mas the Mas kiss, and during the Maggie Bride trial too. Thanks to Maya, Mia is always on hand to help out when I need her the most. The Korean technique has made a huge difference to the world, you know. I mean, the ability to communicate with the dead. That's true psychic powers, you know. Members of the tradition have always been there, behind every important leader. Who wouldn't respect such a tremendous skill? I suppose so, but with all that power and influence, I kind of expected you'd be really rich by now. Are you saying we're poor, Mr. Wright? Ho ho ho! You're very direct, aren't you? People don't believe in it anymore, you see. All because of one little mistake. A mistake? What mistake? It was 17 years ago. That's when everything came crashing down. All because of that incident. BL6. That incident? Is she talking about what I think she is? I'm sure the record still exists if you're interested. Locked up, of course. It was called the DL6 incident. That's the name of the file. The DL6 incident? I knew it. The DL6 incident. I know it well. I handled a, a related case just two years ago. Ah, that's right. So it was you who was the defense attorney on that case. A murder that took place 17 years ago. It was the first time in the country's history the police ever used a spirit medium. The idea was to channel the victim's spirit to learn the identity of the murderer. And the medium who performed the channeling was Missy Fay. Maya's mother. For, uh, for Mystic Ma Missy's challenge, the name of a certain man surfaced. Armed with that as evidence, investigators were spurred in the action. That man. 
He was found not guilty, wasn't he? That's right, he was. And the case remained a mystery. In other words, we failed. It was the first case the world had ever seen the Korean traditionally openly involved in. It was all over the media, the public, the judiciary, the people of Korean village. Everyone judged her. Everyone said Miss Big Misty's powers were a sham. And then she just disappeared, vanished, while everyone still thought of her as a fraud. But I know the truth. Misty Faye's spear telling wasn't a sham at all. Of course it wasn't. And since she managed to reveal the truth, we're finally making a comeback. The crying tradition is starting to recover at last. But with a new master wielding the power of the clan, does she mean Maya? The spiritual power of the French challenging technique is in, in the blood. Maya told me the exact same thing before. We, the women of the Fae Clan, have always been spear mediums. It's because the power to communicate with spirits flows strongly for us. According to Maya, only the woman in the family can inherit that power. The Mian family's bloodline stems directly from Mystic Ami. But with each new generation, only one daughter becomes the new master. And not and the ones who don't become branch families, right? That's right. And it's always the cause of tragedy. No, Maya had a sister too. An older sister named Mia. Oh yes, I've heard of her. What? You know about Mia? Of course. She became a lawyer in hopes of discovering what happened to her mother. And lost her life. As a result. Do you know what Mythic Mia is rumored to have said? She said it wasn't only because of her mother that she became a lawyer. She also didn't want to fight with her sister over the leadership of the tradition. Really? Well, she all she saw what happened to her own mother, Mystic Misty, as she grew up. I guess Mystic Mia, Mia got tired of seeing all the rivalry between her mom and her aunt. That's right. Mystic Fay had an elder sister too. And Misty, having superior powers, minds you have the master's seat from her. Mystic Misty's sister was Mystic Morgan, as you probably know. Morgan. That's a name I know well. But there's a name I know well. It was a year ago now. Maya's home, Karain Village. What she did was terrible. It was all so she could make her own daughter the next master. I suppose if you know about Mystic Morgan's daughter, then you must already realize that Iris... Huh? Iris? What's Iris got to do with any of this? That Iris is... Mystic Morgan's daughter. Iris is what? Is she kidding me? Iris is Morgan Faye's daughter? Did you just say Iris is Morgan Faye's daughter? Oops, I thought you already knew. It sounded like you met one of Mystic Morgan's daughters already. I have. I know her very well. Oh? Yes, Pearls. Pearl Fay. But I always thought she was an only child. You jest! That child? She's Mythic Morgan's. I had no idea. Mystic Morgan. But she's in prison now, isn't she? Isn't she? Yes. Ever since she was found to be a co-conspirator in a murder case last year. It was all done to set Pearls up as the next master. I 
I see. So I've been wrong all this time. Mystic Morgan has three daughters, not two. Wait, what? Three? Yes, Iris, her twin sister, and Mystic Pearl. What? T twin sister? Oh, didn't you know? It all happened 20 years ago. After the clown leadership was taken from her by her sister, Mystic Morgan's life crumbled. It wasn't many years later that Karine's reputation hit an all-time low. When Mystic Morgan's husband realized his wife would never become the master, he left her on the village, taking their twin daughter with him. Hi, awful. He was a jeweler, you know. In the end, he remarried. And that's when it happened. He decided to give one of his daughters up, one of his girls up, to be looked after by us here at the temple. That was Iris, you see. It's unbelievable. If Iris has a twin sister... Could it be... Um, could you tell me one more thing, Sister Bikini? What was the name of Iris' sister? I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. I just can't remember. All I can recall is that her father was a jeweler. Well, that's a clue, I guess. Hmm. A jeweler. Thank you very much. You've helped clear up a lot of details. Pearl's had two elder sisters, huh? Yes, that's right. No doubt it was all because Mystic Mor of Mystic Morgan's anger towards the main family. Anger? What do you mean? Her twin daughters were taken by her, they're from her by her jeweler husband. But even that couldn't destroy her dream of it. The dad's hell of her, hers would one day lead the clan. That's why she had pearls. It seems that the incident here was a result of Mystic Morgan's anger. It was able to break free of the bars that confined her. So Iris had a twin sister. The plot thickens. This information will be useless unless I can flesh shit out a bit. I need to ask more questions. Get some more info. Oh, okay. February 9th has a career temple, courtyard. Sounds like someone's happy. What's that tune that they're humming? No motive, no crime, no motive, no crime. Sing it with me. No motive, no crime. I remember when we used to search in the challenge room in Karine. Oops. Ooh, I love my job. Of course, the clues I find are no good. That's not what investigating's all about. Investigating, invest investigators investigates for the love of investigating. It's a passion. Good kiss we have, kiss we have, good kisses we lost along the way. I would have never guessed that Gumshi was in the regat. Every kiss is gonna be earth tight. Every kiss is gonna be earth tight. Hey, pal. Also, apologies for that one. I have to go with the fiend there. Hmm? Who, me? How long have you been there? I just got here. Oh, okay. So, what are you up to, detective? I'm investigating, pal. I made a promise to Mr. Edgeworth. I promised I would find the real murder weapon. The real murder weapon? That barbed sword thing turned out to be false sleep, right? I'm giving them my best shot here. I still haven't turned up any clues. I just found these weird scraps of paper. It looks like a letter or something. It doesn't seem to have anything to do with the kiss, though. A letter? So, how's the investigation going, Detective Kumshi? I don't know what I should be telling you, pal. But I guess it can't hurt. Looks like the murder took place at the inner, in the inner, eh, in the inner temple garden. 
undertaking that bloody writing on the lantern pretty serious back at HQ. What? You mean... I don't have the details, pal. All I know is, if you don't find Maya down in that sacred cavern, we're gonna be faced with one ugly situation. What kind of ugly situation are we talking about? Are we looking at here? You got me. I don't know. They're not my words, pal. And who said it? Mr. Godot. Godot? What do they mean by that? About that ladder you found. Don't remind me, pal. I'm busting a gut here trying to find the murder weapon. And all I find is some burnt up la ladder. Burnt up ladder? Yeah, it was in that incinerator right outside the inner temple. The incinerator? I knew it. I knew I wasn't imagining it. There was snow when the incinerator when I first saw it. But after the incident, the snow had melted away. Which means someone used the incinerator on the night of the murder. What's up for you, pal? I've got it right here if you want to take a look. Can I? Do you mind? Sure, go nuts. I don't want it, pal. You can have it. It's all spirit medium and masters and stuff. I bet it's, no, it's got no relation to the case. Spirit mediums? Where did I find? The gumshi in the inner temple's incinerator. It's gotta be important if it matches spirit mediums and master. Be careful. Once nightfall, she'd be there. As soon as you hear the light out, the lights out bell, you must channel her spirit. Leave everything up to her. Her name is... She is... Oh. Here is a picture of her. When you channel her, I know you can do it. Once this is burned up, also make... Tell anyone about this letter. Gravely roast the master in the fires of Hades and bring our vengeance into fruition. This definitely sounds like a beer, uh, revenge letter. I better give it a good look over and some serious fun. Make sure you're chucking in the trash when you're done. Letter is a crime, pal. So, what do you know about the real murder weapon so far? Well, it isn't the Shachi Shoto that was found impaled on the victim's body. Is there any proof that in court today? Yes, it's true. So that's true. In which case, it must be another blade. It must have been another blade. And that's what you're running around like a headless chicken. Looking at for now, huh? Yeah. A man is, is a tiring work. But let me tell you something, pal. I'm no chicken. We've got the fetters of forensic in our cop these days. We're using the department's secret weapon on this. Secret weapon? What's the secret weapon of yours? You wanna know? You've got you gotta think scientifically, okay? Alright. The murder weapon is a sword what's a sword? Swords are, scientifically speaking, made of metal, right? Any questions so far? Nope. Know what he's gonna say. Oh, like a lot of smart. So what the? So what's the perfect tool for the job? Ta-da! A metal detector. Raise your hand if you didn't see this coming up from a mile away. Well, you want to give give Sand having investigation a go? Huh? Me? I've been using this thing for hours now. It's getting pretty boring after a while. Why don't you give it a try? I don't know. Should I help Detective Gumshoe out or not? Sure. Come on, pal. It's good fun. I'm telling you. Alright then. I guess I'll give it a go. Like I said, this is the department's most advanced gadget. The absolute best. It's so sensitive, you can make it cry. It's so high tech, you can skydive off it. Oh, brother. Brother. So, now I'm going to tell you how to use it. It's possible the real murder weapon is right here somewhere, right? Sure, that's what we're trying to find out. Right, so first, 
Let's turn the detector on. Sign of the map detector signal by itself. Next. Move the detector around to get this courtyard. Good look, see, see pal. Don't worry, this baby will let you know when you hit something metallic. And when it happens, press the X button to give the area a good heart stir. That swing picks up the objects that are hidden from sight too. Take a good look at anything and everything that seems suspicious, okay pal? You gotta do this first. Look, a ladder! That's a step ladder. What's the difference? Looks like a normal ladder to me, pal. Surely everyone knows the difference. I mean, they're pretty ordinary objects. I met plenty of guys like you. Always picking on the smallest details. The vegetable sore guy near my place does it all the time. He even corrects me when I ask for a head of lettuce. That's a cabbage, he says. I'm telling you, they're a sack. It was the exact same thing. No, they're not. They're completely different. You have to plant both of them firmly on the ground before they can grow, don't you? Listen, gotta take a step back and look at the bigger picture sometimes. Otherwise, you could miss a really important clue. That's a fight from a pro, pal. The last person I need advice from is this guy in front of me. This looks like... A wallet? Aha! That's where it's been! Is this yours, detective? I'm always dropping it, so I put a bell on it. But you still drop it anyway. Yeah, but now I found it again, pal. Your wallet is completely empty. Well, I drop it all the time, so I don't put money in it anymore. And how come the bell detector picked it up? Must be because the be of the bell, I guess. That Shashi Toto next to the golden statue wasn't the real murder weapon, pal. Yeah, I know. I just feel like check it, out, check it again anyway. Oh yeah? That reminds me. Do you know about that sword? It's supposed to represent the multiple branches that life can take. All ending as one. Yes, I've heard some things about that. You know what I think about it sometimes? What kind of life I'd be leading if I hadn't if I'd not joined the homicide detect division? You think about that kind of stuff, detective? Of course I do! I think about it a lot. My life is a trap me as a traffic cop, me as the detention officer, me as the blue badger. There's something to be said about a, the humor value of Gumshu as the blue badger. Okay, hold on. This is some stuff, some stuff, isn't it? Scientifically speaking, they're usually made of wood. But the detector's reacting to it. Yeah, but however you look at it, the thing's made of wood, alright? I don't bother investigating anything unless it looks like it might be metallic. Isn't the whole point of a metal detector to find metal where you can't see it? Truly an idiot, Gumtree. It is. It's weird that this thing is, cause, is causing a racket. Here. Let me take a look at it. Hey, hands off! Assembly evidence is a job for the. Rick. Ah! The tap is coming off! Look what you've done! You dominate a really important piece of evidence! Ah! That's a. a. a sword? Inside the staff? Is this. Could this be... the murder weapon? Hey, look, we found it. I never had guessed there'd be a sword concealed in the victim's staff. They call this kind of thing a sword kin, pal. This was a real gem. The worshipmanship is really something else. Thank goodness it wasn't a skin sword. Or else the victim would have stopped her own foot. I officially give up on trying to figure out how Gumshoe's mind works. If this, re if this real scene of the crime was the Inner Temple Garden, then why is the sword used to kill the victim found in the main hall courtyard? Hey Gumshoe, who knew about this, about the hidden sword? No one. Even the police didn't know about this until I discovered it just now. 
Well, as I say, there's no team in Gumshoe. There doesn't seem there doesn't look like there are any chances of blood on it. Then I guess this is the murder weapon, huh? No, no, no! I'm sure someone just wiped it off after the murder. Yeah, of course! This thing definitely is the murder weapon. Good job, pal! It's about the same length as the Shashi Toto, too. This must be the murder weapon. Okay, I'm gonna run over to forensics. There's gotta be some traces of blood left. Even if most of it has been wiped off. See you later, pal! Every kiss is gonna be airtight. Every kiss is gonna be airtight. Wait up, detective! Huh? What is it, pal? I'm pretty busy. I'm a pretty busy guy right now, you know. You're going to get that stuff analyzed, right? Would you mind holding off for just a while? Huh? What are you talking about, pal? Please! Just until we find Maya. Maya? What's this got to do with her? I don't know. But I'm starting to get a ba really bad feeling in the pit of my stomach. Oh, hi, so. Look, Maya's trapped in the sacred cavern right now, and. Well, we don't even know if she's okay or not. The more evidence and testimony I hear, the more uneasy I feel. You don't think. Maya's member. Please, detective! Let's just wait until we can get inside the sacred cavern. You're looking kind of furry in here, sir. Okay, okay. Just stop with that fist, pal. One thing, though. The staff secret trick. Let's keep it between you and me, alright? If it gets out that we knew about it and didn't say anything, we're finished. I understand. This is just a regular run-of-the-mill staff. You got it? Okay. Now you take good care of her, pal. Thank you, detective. Don't worry. She'll be fine. I'm sure. You know, there's a place at the base of this mountain that has some really good pasta. How about I take you there when you find Maya, huh, pal? Sure. Thanks. The himself has a sword hidden inside. No one knows this except for me and the Gunchi. See, from Gunchi for safekeeping. I can't help but wonder, though. Why does at least do it look some doing with a stuff like this in the first place? I think we have stuff for Pearl now. Let's go see Pearl. Or at least try as much as we can. Okay. Hmm. I was suspecting Larry and Pearl to be here. I guess they've gone to collect firewood. I suppose I'll have to check back later. Well, I guess we're coming back. We'll go back later. I don't think I think of if we took the Ashworth. He should be in the garden. Hey, Ashworth! Did you know that Iris had a twin sister? What? A twin? Okay. You can't be serious. Sister Bikini told me, but the problem is, she didn't know the name of the, this twin. There was nothing about Iris having a tw sister in the files I checked. Well, Iris was taken in by the temple when she was really young. Apparently, her sister was raised by her father. A jeweler, I think? A jeweler? Right, I... I just might know who this twin sister of hers is. I have a feeling you say that. Let me guess. Her name is Dahlia Hartford, right? Yes, exactly. 
Please tell me what you know about her, Edgeworth. Please. It was my first court case six years ago. I was a greenhorn. Due to my experience, the defendant died. You're talking about Terry Falls, right? You know about that case? You're not the only one who knows something about Iris and Dahlia Hawthorne. I checked on I checked one of Mia's old files from six years ago. Yeah. Yes, Dahlia was a key witness in that case. Dahlia and Terry Falls conspir conspired together to stage a fake kidnapping eleven years ago. They stole Joe worth two million dollars from Dolly's father, a jeweler. And five years after that, she murdered her own sister, Valerie Hartford, to keep her from talking. Her sister? Well, her stepsister, actually. They weren't blood related. Valerie was the only daughter of Dahlia's father's second wife. Oh. And this is when she entered my life. This is the woman who tried to kill me. So after Terry Falls died, what happened to Dahlia? Did you check that out? Does it really matter? Like I said, Dahlia isn't connected with this kiss. Why are you so sure about that? It's simple. Dahlia Hawthorne is dead. What? Well, her me- uh, bullets process are my they're of interest only to historians. Sort of speaking. Sort of speak. What do you mean by Dahlia Hartford is dead, Edgeworth? Right. I must confess that in reading her file, I came to know of the murder case you were involved in during your college years. Dahlia Hartford was found guilty. Thanks to the persistence of Mia Fey. Mia Fey! Mia Fey! Oh, at that time, Dahlia. It's like she was possessed by a demon or something. It's been almost five years since that guilty heart verdict was handed down, and her sentence was finally carried out. She was executed last month. Executed? I'm sure that's a bit of a shock for you, right? And for more reasons than one. But do you understand now? She can't possibly be connected with this kiss. She's dead. And once someone is dead, there is no way to revive them. There's no way to revive them? Hmm, I wonder. It seems you're not aware of one of the other connection in Edgeworth. And what is that? It's about Iris and Dahlia and Harpoon's mother. What's their mother got to do with any of this? She's Morgan Fay. A spear medium from the branch family of the Korean Challenge Technique. Did you say Korean Challenge Technique? Do you know something about it? Oh yes, I know it's connected with that fraudulent spear medium. Fraudulent? I was involved in another nightmare 17 years ago. I was caught up in the middle of a murder investigation. 
The police didn't have any leads. They were all stumped. And that's when they called her in. She was a very famous spear medium and the master of her channeling school. Yeah, if anyone's project hasn't figured, everyone who's connected this is in some strange way connected from DL6. In a weird way. At least that's a theory that I've heard. But it makes sense in a strange way that the phase are connected, the rights connected by right extension from Mia. Edgeworth is, well, he's dead and smack dab in the middle of this. This, uh, Francisco's due to Capar Karma. Well, it's. There was a fear right that I remember watching a while back. As actually watching this, it's making a very interesting sense. Makes a lot of sense. Anyway, back to the thing. But you know what happened? As a result of her efforts, an innocent man was accused of murder. She and her powers. They were all fraudulent. Edgeworth. Go to the police record room. It's all in there. All you have to do is check the DL6 incident case files and you'll know. Of course. How could I forget? Edgeworth was the victim in this in that case. Edgeworth. You'll understand someday. And then you'll see that the crying challenge technique is real. Although I forgot there was still one more thing we have to do here. We still have Iris. Alright. I think it's time you told me the trip of it what what you were doing that night. You said you were in your room at the Hasakura Temple that time, the entire time. Do you still claim to be the tr so Do you still claim not to be the truth? Yes, that's where I was. Iris, I believe you're innocent. That's why I want to believe what you're telling me. Too, but I can't. Because this person saw you somewhere else on the night of the murder. I'm talking about Sister Bikini, of course. Sister Bikini? Her testimony in court today was very clear. That night I was helping an acolyte with her training in the inner temple, but... Well, as you can see, my backpacks ache up violently. So I left Iris to help the acolytes. The acolyte. I'm returned to Hazakura Temple. Sister Bikini didn't just see you, she spoke with you. You two talked about Maya's training that night. So you see, Iris, you were at, there at the inner temple on the night of the murder. That's very impressive, Mr. Ryan. The Acolyte's actual training was due to start after 10 o'clock that night. I left the main hall early so I wouldn't be late. What time is that? Let me see. It takes about 20 minutes to walk between the main hall and the inner temple. So I would have left. I would have left at about 9:40, I think. I'm sorry, Iris. But line doesn't suit. Just doesn't suit you. Huh? Nah. You said you left the main hall at 9:40. But what you say doesn't add up to with this. You yourself testified to the contrary, don't you remember? You said you rang the lights out bell at 10 o'clock that night. Ah. Uh, plus, only moments before you rang the bell, that bell, you were seen at the main hall by the most reliable witness I have. Who's that? Me. Mr. Wright. We even spoke a little that evening. That's when you give me this. Surely you haven't forgotten. No, that's right. I remember. And that brings us to another puzzling fact, Iris. 
at 10 o'clock on the night of the murder, you were seen in two different places at the same time. It's time you told me exactly what's been going on, Iris. So far, I've managed to prove two things. First, on the night of the incident, you were at the inner temple. And second, at the exact same time, you were ringing the bell at Hazakura Temple. There's only one possible explanation for this possibility. On the night of the incident, you were seen in two different places at the same time. Which means there must have been two of you! I can't think of any other explanation, Iris. But that's crazy! How could that be? There's only one of me! It's impossible! Impossible? I wonder. The way you're traveling certainly seems to suggest otherwise. You're seriously trying to suggest there's more than one of me? Then show me the evidence. Show me something that proves that there there's more than one of me. Dahlia Hartford. I have a firm grasp of the situation, I, Iris. You have a sister, don't you? A twin sister, perhaps? Ah. Uh, that's right. Dahlia Hartford. A woman I know only too well. I had no idea you knew of her. Very impressive, Mr. Ray. But she's no longer... Yes, I know. Her sentence was carried out recently, wasn't it? I'm sorry. Thank you. There's no need to explain that, is there, Iris? The second you who was here at the temple on the night of the murder. It was your twin sister, Dahlia Hartford. But you just said it yourself a second ago. My sister's dead. Have you forgotten that? Have you forgotten this, Iris? This is a challenge, dojo. A training grind of the Korine challenge technique. And that night. Someone channeled Dahlia's spirit, and you knew about it. And that's the secret you've been, been trying to hide from me. Ah. I, I was in my room in the main hall that night. As soon as I heard that I'd been spotted at the inner temple, I knew. I knew it was my sister, Dahlia, the other half of me, who passed away last month. Just as I suspected. The iris that Sister Bikini saw at the inner temple on the night of the murder. was It was Dahlia Hartford. Why didn't you tell me about this before? Because... Because my sister always does the right thing. Excuse me? And because I mustn't get in the way of what she's trying to do, I already betrayed her once before. I can't do it again. You betrayed her? What do you mean? That's why I... I have to accept I may be found guilty. It's the only way. What is she talking about? You know about it, don't you, Mr. Ray? About the fake kidnapping that took place here on Eagle Mountain 11 years ago. That was the start of it all. It's what started her down that twisted path. Oh. She started to commit crime after crime. And in the end, she... she lost her life. It's all because I betrayed her. How did you betray her, Iris? It was no coincidence that Eagle Mountain is where the exchange was to take place. After all, I... I have planned the whole thing. What? But I got scared. 
so I ran away. What are you talking about? Why would you help her? Stealing two million dollars? From your own father? That's awful! But I promised... I promised that I help. And... She didn't do it for the money. Huh? It was revenge. On our father. Revenge? What do you mean by revenge? He was a hideous man. He threw a mother away and then sent her to hell. Her mother? She must be talking about Morgan Fay. Our mother was the eldest daughter of the main branch of the Fay family. The Mian family had a lot of influence in many businesses and political circles at the time. As the eldest daughter, our mother was set to inherit all of that as the next master. That's the reason our father married our mother in the first place. For power. But his plan backfired. Because our mother's sister took it all from her. She took over as the master of Karine. That would be Misty Fay, Maya's mother. But before long, the credibility of the Korayan tradition hit rock bottom. The new master, Mystic Misty Fay, made a terrible mistake. It was during the investigation of the DL6 incident. After that happened, our father took me and my twin sister away, leaving our mother and our home behind. He hated the place. He said it was a heck dive, and that he had no reason to stay there. And that's when you came here to Hazakura Temple? Yes. The woman my father took as his next wife had already, already had a daughter, Valerie. I... I had no place in this new family, you see? Oh. And I hadn't seen my mother once since then. Having the master's seat stolen from her. Being rejected by her own family. I've heard she's been, been very bothered. Spiritually and emotionally. I think I finally, I'm finally beginning to see how the pieces fit together. I have passed her everything I can in my cap capacity as a prosecutor. This incident, everything related to it goes back to the history of the Fae Clan. That's what it looks like. Iris, there's just one more thing I wanted you to tell me. What is it? During the incident in which your sister, Dahlia Harfon, poisoned a lawyer. She began a relationship with a certain college student in order to hide the evidence. That college student... Have you heard anything about him? Well... I did hear one thing. She said she hated his guts. I see. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Hurry up, Phoenix Wright! There's still so much to investigate! Leave these locks to me. I'll open them for you, as promised. Thank you. I suppose I better continue my investigation. There's still one giant secret left to unlock. Carl Cyclox. There's only one thing left for us to do, Nye. Like I said, it's Pearl we have to talk to. Everybody, knife, heavenly hall. Looks, look at that. They really did make a fire. Right in front of the shack. Oh, Mr. Nick. <laughs> You're too lit, Nick. You came here for one of our potatoes. We finished polishing them all off. I think I pretty much got all the items I need. Now I just need to find out where, what pearls is hiding. As long as we don't do too much. 
We're good. No, 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 no. Oh. Well, after dinner on the night of the murder, you were supposed to be in Elise Luxem's room, reading the book together, correct? Yes! I was so happy when she invited me! But... I didn't go in the end. You didn't go? No, there was something else I had to go instead. I was so worried I... I had to go! I didn't know what to do with myself. I was so nervous. The pearls never went to Mr. Luxon's room. Because she was wor worried about something or someone else. Pearls. On the day of the murder, you went to this place, didn't you? You went here, didn't you, Pearls? Looks like she's still not going to open up to me. This is where you went because you were worried. So worried, right? Then the next question is, who or what were you so worried about? Nah, I'm going to take a guess. Can you tell me if I'm right or wrong, okay? You mean you know? If I'm right, you will tell me the whole truth. Okay. You went to this place for one very simple reason. And that was this. It's obvious what you were so worried about, Pearls. It was Maya, wasn't it? Ah! Uh. You knew the training Maya was undertaking was dangerous. After all, it was the special course. I signed up for your special course. Well, my, my, my. Quite brave of you considering how cold it is. Young people can be so reckless with their health. Don't blame me if you become one of those you channel. Wahaha, ho, ho, ho. Sister Bikini scourged you with what she said, didn't she? And because it was you who introduced Hazakura Temple to Maya in the first place, you felt responsible, didn't you? Thinking about what could happen to Mystic Maya made me more and more worried. I didn't sit still at all. That's why I decided to go and find out how she was doing at the Inner Temple. Then we're clear now that you went to the Inner Temple that night, Pearls. What's not clear is what happened after that. Eh. About what time was it you headed over to the Inner Temple? Um... It was probably around 9.30 when I left the main hall. I heard the real stream was supposed to start at 10. I wanted to get there before it started. But there was so much snow, and I didn't get there until after 10 o'clock. Until after 10? How'd you know what time it was? Because I heard the bell for ringing for lights out. So you heard the lights out bell? The Hasagar Temple bell is pretty small though, isn't it? You must have really good hearing. I I was really trying to pick up the sound of that bell. That's all. I didn't want to miss it. That would be terrible. She was trying to hear the bell? Tell me, Pearls. Why were you so worried about hearing the bell that bell? Huh? Oh, I I think I know why. The reason you were so worried about the bell was because of this. Oh. You were given some instructions to follow for that night, weren't you? I presume you recognize these pieces of paper. Uh, where did you? In the incinerator at the inner temple. Pearls, you were following the instructions in this letter that night, weren't you? That's why you couldn't afford to miss the sound of the lights out bell. Uh, I'm speechless, Mr. Nick. You're amazing. These instructions that were found in the incinerator. I believe they were written for you, Pearls. For me? I... No. As you can see, a large portion has been burnt. But the last section is still largely very legible. As soon as you hear the lights out bell, you must channel her spirit. 
Who was it, Pearls? Whose spear were you supposed to channel? Be channeling? Yeah. Like taking into account the author of the note and their purpose for writing it, whose spear would Pearls have been trying to channel? Don't overthink it, Phoenix. It's pretty obvious who Pearls was supposed to channel. The person you were trying to channel that night, Pearls, was. Dahlia Hartford again. It was Dahlia Hartform, wasn't it? That was the name that was in the letter. Ah! It's just as I suspected. It wasn't Iris who just became mad at the temple. At the inner temple that night. It was Dahlia Hartform. Do you know anything about her, Pearls? Do you know what kind of woman of yeah, do you know what kind of a woman Dolly Hartform was? Um no. I've never heard of anyone by that name before reading those instructions. I thought so. Pearl doesn't have a clue. She doesn't know that Dahlia is her sister. I put the instructions in the letter I found, Pearls. Who wrote them? Um Whoever was asked you to channel the spirit of someone you never heard of. You must have quite a, you must have quite a lot of respect for them. After all, you followed their instructions for a question. Here's, so here's my next question. Who was this set of instructions for sorry, who wrote this set of instructions for you to follow? This would be Martin Bay. Charles? I have to wonder about something. You didn't have any idea what these instructions meant, did you? Um, but you followed them to the letter regardless. Why? Because it was your own mother who asked you, that's why. How did you? I figured it out. The person who wrote you this letter was your own mother, Morgan Fay. Um... Uh... All right, Pearls. It's time you start telling me the truth. Mr. Nick, I... Why is she holding back from me? I don't like this. Don't run the rest of me just because I'm a child. Huh? If you're trying to say I followed these instructions, I'd like, you s I'd like to see some proof. What? Because I... I don't think... You have any? Yeah. She's saying anything rather than admit the character's instructions. I guess I'll have to produce some more evidence then. One more thing should do it. All right, pearls. We both know someone carried these instructions on the night of the murder. But you're right. There's no evidence to prove it was you. I, I, I knew it. However, I do know that whoever did it was a child. It was a chat. Huh? How do you know that? It couldn't have been an adult. No adult would make a simple mistake like that. Would have made a simple mistake like that. A, a simple mistake? What do you mean by that? I, I sure, I'm sure you thought you were carefully following the instructions you've been given. But you misunderstood some of the words. And this, ev and this is the evidence that proves it. It was you who splattered gravy on this hanging scroll, wasn't it? Ah! Uh, what? Why would I do, do something like that? I'm like, do you remember what's written in that letter? What was written in that letter? Gravely roast them. The master in the fires of Hades and bring our vengeance to fruition. But you didn't know how to read the word gravely and to roast among others, right? How do you know that? Remember the conversation you have with Miss Dillickson on the night of the murder? Perhaps we can read some books together. Really? I love to. I um, I'm not very good at reading. <laughs> well then, would you like to practice reading with me, um, Miss Elise? So, for example, how do you read this? It says gravelly. 
That's kind of a tough word. I don't even double check that word. Save. There we go. Oh. It has two things, so. Ah, uh, so it's using one of the offer versions of it, which is to a degree that calls that gives calls for a lot. You know, what definitions? Okay, maybe it's worn. Okay, it's... Well, it's an offer, but that's all I know. I'll have to little check that at some point. It says, it's kind of a hard, hard, hard word. So. Sure, Miss Silicon taught you how to read the word gravely and roast. But what she didn't teach you is what they meant. Gravely sounds like gravy to me. And the only roast I could think of was the food. And that's why you did it. That's why you covered the picture of the master in gravy from the night's pop roast. To be honest, I did think it was a bit strange. I guess I really did get the wrong idea. Just a tiny bit. I, I really am useless. I couldn't even burn the letter properly as my mother had asked of me. Such a simple thing, and I couldn't even do it right. I, after dinner that night, I did go to the inner temple. With a pot full of the leftover gravy. Gravy? Oh. Uh, I saw the picture of the hanging scroll near the stick recovering. And I was sure that it was the master crying. Like it said in the letter. I see. And then? Well, it was already way past 10 when I got there because of all the snow. So I went to the inner temple guest area. The guest area? Yes. I thought I could wait there until the training was over. Why didn't you just go to the temple ho the training hall? Because Mystic Maya's main training had already started. And I couldn't interrupt it. But I just stayed there while... I just stayed where I was and prayed for her to get through it. But then I... Pearls, did you fall asleep? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I just couldn't help it. Hey, don't worry about it, Pearls. Of course you fell asleep. I fall asleep too. I fall asleep... I'm sorry, I fell asleep waiting for Iris. Too, it happens. Anyway, then you find yourself trapped at the inner temple. Yes. When I woke up, it was morning. I tried not to cry, but... The ski fridge wasn't there anymore, and there was no one in the training hall. I thought everyone had left me because I overslept. I threw the letter into the incinerator. Then I heated up the leftover gravy and... Let up And I let... And let off some steam by chucking the gravy on the scroll while you cried. It must have been pretty scary for you, Pearls. I knew what it was like. Nick used to leave me behind when I fell asleep at school, too. Don't equate something so trivial with her experience, Larry. It was written right in my mother's letter. It said, as soon as you hear the lights out bell, you must channel her spirit. I was on my way over to the inner temple when I heard the bell ring. So you channeled Dahlia Hartford spirit. No. I tried, but I couldn't do it. You couldn't do it? I never failed to challenge someone. This is the first time it ha it's happened. I tried, I tried, and I tried. 
yesterday, this morning, the whole time. I just couldn't do it. Don't let it get you down, Pearls. It will all work out. If you want, I'll come flying through the sky for you. Whoosh! Just like that. So she never minds to channel the spirit. Is that why you think your spiritual powers are gone? Yes, I... I don't know what to do. Isn't there any other explanation for why you can channel a spirit? I suppose there's one other possibility. It's not very likely, though. Could you please tell me what it is anyway? It could happen if someone else was already chilling the same spirit. Someone else? Who do you mean? Well, there's only one of each spirit, right? Yep, it's like getting the girl, Nick. You can't see a hot chick if she's already taken. And that would mean on the night of the murder, someone else challenged her spirit before Pearls could. Someone else channeled the spirit of Dahlia Hartform. I'm a failure. I couldn't even grab my mother's final wish. Her final wish? Yes, this letter. This is my last wish, she said. So make sure you follow the instructions carefully. Hmm, this letter. I definitely need to find out more about it. My mother has gone to a place called the Pen- The Penitentiary. Yeah, I know, Pearls. I visit her every month. Yep. And last month, she told me- The time we've been waiting for has come, Pearl. There's something I need you to do for me. I hid a letter for you at our home before they brought me here. I want you to read it. And do exactly what it says. It's for the good of the Fey Clan, my angel. You'll be doing a great thing. Now, right, listen carefully, and I'll tell you where the letter is hiding. My mother's always nice to me. I love her very much. Yeah, moms will do anything for other kids, right? She said it was for the good of the Fey Clan, so I knew I had to help her. I mean, Miss Maya is part of the Fey Clan, so it had to be good for her, too. That's right, isn't it, Mr. Nick? I... I guess so... Yeah. There was a picture with her letter, too. A picture? Of Miss Dahlia Hartford. Usually, a picture is enough to challenge someone's spirit, but this time... Pretty weird, huh? Like, Larry knows anything about this stuff. There's something else that was changed by my mother's letter. The seal on it was broken, as if someone had already opened it once before. That sure is pretty strange. Someone had opened it already? Our letter smell did. Ordered by Morgan Fay, opened once before. Thanks, Pearls. You really helped me out. You're very welcome. My mother is watching over us. So I'm sure Miss Maya will be alright. Look at that innocent smile on her face. What am I supposed to say to her? Ha! Finally figured it out. Have you tried? You finally re realize how terrible of a crime being painfully obvious is. Go on! In the entrance to the sacred cabin looks like a freaking puzzle workshop. I guess he's talking about Iris on the lock breaking effort. But it's all a waste of time. Why do you say that? Because my Faye isn't coming back. What? You don't know what you're talking about. How can you say something like that? It was your job to protect her, right? Just like it was your job to protect Maya Faye. Two sisters. Caught up in the worst circumstances. I... I realize that, but... 
And you were the one who was by their side. You were the only one who could have saved them. I didn't know anything about what's going on. What was going on? Ha! Huh. What I just say, trite. Being obvious, like being oblivious is a heinous crime in itself. Tomorrow. We'll sell everything in court tomorrow. Once and for all. Mr. Nick? Is... Is what that man just said true? You'll be alright, Pearls. I'm sure Maya's alive. You'll see for yourself tomorrow. Alright. Yeah, that's right. I know I can trust you, Mr. Nick. My dear Pearl. You've done so well, my child. My Pearl. It's better that you don't know what you've done. I knew this day would come for you. The blood of the main branch is no more. I finally, after all this time, the master seat is yours. My last great wish. It seems I was just in time. And that's where we're going to leave it. So yeah, when we are coming back on this Wednesday, it is... We're going to finish it, basically. I'm going to start the stream a lot later. Because it's going to be a long one. Going to be a ride. So yeah. We'll leave it at that. Oh crap, I hope he's always the game this week. Uh, oh, this is fine. This part's fine. Yeah, no, I'll... So yeah, I'll wrap things up here. Hope it's with you this week. We'll be back on this Wednesday. I will be streaming this later than, than I planned on the Wednesday. So maybe around this time Wednesday. Oh, but it'll probably be a safe bet because of the way things ended out. But then with that being... So yeah, that'll be it. I'll see you on... So yeah, I hope it's with you this week. I'll see you next time. Bye.